In this video, we'll balance this combustion reaction. We have C7H17 plus O2. When we have combustion, we end up with carbon dioxide and water. So to balance the equation, let's count the atoms up first. We have seven carbons, 17 hydrogens, and two oxygens. Product side, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, then two oxygens. And don't forget the oxygen and water. So we have three. So this is a little bit of a tricky reaction to balance here. Let's just start with the carbons. When we do these combustion reactions, leave the oxygen till last. That's because the oxygen's all by itself. If you change this, it won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So leave the oxygen till last. We'll do the carbon, put a seven as our coefficient here, one times seven. So we have seven carbons and those are balanced. We do need to update the oxygen. So now we have seven times two, that's 14 plus the one in the water there, that gives us 15. At this point, I'd really like to get the hydrogens balanced. And to do that, I think what I wanna do is get this to an even number. That way then I can balance the hydrogen here much easier. So I'm gonna take this and double it times two. That'll give me 34. So I'm gonna put a two up here as the coefficient. Now I have seven times two, that'll give me 14. And then I have the 17 here times the two, that gives me the 34. Now over here, I'll put a 17 in front of the water here, the H2O, and two times 17, that'll give me 34. But I have to update the oxygens. So I have seven times two, that's 14, plus I have the 17 times the one, that's 17, that'll give me 31 oxygen atoms. It looks like we also need to balance the carbon again. So if I wanna get 14 carbons here, what I'll need to do is change this seven to 14. So now I have the 14 carbons and the one times 14, that'll give me 14 of those. So the carbons are balanced, the hydrogens are balanced, and we do need to update the oxygen here to accommodate this. So instead of the 14, we have two times 14. That gives us 28, plus we have the 17 times one, 17 there. So 45 oxygen atoms but we're almost done. Because now I just need to think, how do I get 45 here? If I had 45 over two, two times 45 over two, that gives me 45. Let's do that. 45 over two, the twos cancel out. I end up with 45. And this equation is now balanced. All the coefficients, the ratios, they're correct. Sometimes teachers don't like to have this fraction here. It's easy enough to fix. We could just put brackets around the whole thing and multiply everything by two. So two times two is four, two times 45 over two, the twos would cancel out. We'd have 45, two times 14 is 28, and then two times 17, that's 34. So these would be the whole number coefficients for our equation here. It's a little bit involved, but if you follow these steps, leave the oxygens till last, and then use this little trick where we multiply 45 over two, you'll be successful balancing this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C7H17 plus O2. Thanks for watching.